Pro Mood Review. One year ago, two people died as the victims of a tragic crime. Eric and Shelley were both killed because of organized crime on Devil's Night, the night before Halloween, where many criminals around, I think, Detroit are setting fire to buildings. So Eric and Shelley, in spite of being a friend of ours, are both buried, but one year later, Eric comes back. What he didn't know was that he had to go golf to do it. He comes back to get revenge for what was done to both of them. And the first thing he wants to do is, of course, make sure that social progress happens. I'm kidding. He takes brutal, eye for an eye kind of revenge on the bad guys. Real poetic justice with some of it. We utterly hate the bad guys and love to hate them. They are just inherently despicable. Michael Wincott is always great as a bad guy. Bai Ling is pretty good if at times a bit stiff as a very, very creepy, disturbing chick. Tony Todd isn't bad, but it's not his best. And then we have various minions. What really makes this film work is that in addition to being an avenging angel, Eric is also a healing one. He doesn't only come back to kill and destroy, he does mend some broken bonds. If the movie had just been a guy comes back to get revenge for something that happened to him or people close to him, well, yes, so are hundreds of other movies. And I'm not sure I would say this is necessarily the best at that. It is also decidedly not for everyone because it does go for the fantasy elements somewhat. There's a bit of a Vulcan mind meld thing with the crow himself, he can sort of absorb memories or something like that. And there are a couple of other things that I will not give away in this video. The acting is good to great, and Brandon Lee himself, especially, rest in peace, very good job. You can very much tell when it isn't him, when it's a stand-in that they had to use in those few scenes that hadn't been completed when he died during production. His charisma is really much like that of his father, Bruce. And he really does carry this very nicely. We do also have a good supporting cast with beat cop Bernie Hudson and a young girl who was the friend of both Shelley and Eric when they were alive. The effects are reasonable, but it is, of course, the movie is from 94, so it's not going to blow anyone's minds. The action is pretty good, although it is at times a bit awkwardly filmed. Some shots last a bit long. With that said, the film is beautifully shot. Alex Proyas has a real sense of visuals, the gothic visuals, and we get some amazing and truly memorable images in this film. I would say that I can't quite put my finger on it, but something about the film just doesn't entirely work. But by the ending, by the third act of the film, each time I've watched it, I've found myself less interested than in the first two. And I don't know why that is, because the climax is 
quite cool and nicely done and the ingredients are there for it to be dramatically effective. But with all that said, the film is definitely worth watching if you are interested in these kinds of stories about, you know, a figure that comes into a broken situation and fixes it with some rather theatrical surgical strikes. That was my review, so hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.